Goiki Media, we're bringing the world closer to your doorstep. Goiki Media, Goiki Media, Goiki Media, we bring in the world closer to your doorstep. Goiki Media. Waiting, we carry for her. But they move closer before they go I said they never know. Waiting, we carry for body. But they move closer before they go sabi. Okin lo lo ja e e ni un lo lo la ju. Aye to do ni ko do bi a do. Ongwe te le do. Kasi chefu le baba wa. Kasi chefu ilu baba wa. Kaju mo so wapo kale kodudu aga Kodudu wapo ba lekewa Omo odudu a shigiri Edi de fun weko adula wo Kale joju mante Kale ileri Kawale pa oko ilewa Kasi she kale jok bade Kale bade ade adula wo Awani mante ti yutan kakiri News and sports, hey Marigo. Oh my jebu ala rani lo ni ki ma ke tata Go iki midia, alo la kwa ju mami Ma ba shere lo Oh my yoruba niye, oh my yoruba tata Ang jadu re, oh my jebu ala rani She yin lo ma fi di bo te ma le Eyin lo mo ni bo ma ande ma de ma de Eyin lo mo ni bo ma wo ma wo ma wo Ibo ma wo ta jo jo bo do wo A jo ji do ba wo be A te de ni e bo ra Eyin lo ma na wo Ko yi bo to de Ikba to yi bo de o O wo na de tu pa si o Ko yi ki mi da Sa wa ni ba ba We bring you up closer to your doorstep. I never told you to come here to Lara. I never told you to come here to Lara. I never told you to come here to Lara. Go 
you give me that we bring you walk closer to your doorstep. Yeah. Oh, you give me that Isara. To give us later. Ah, Isara no. To give us latest. They distant yet to me. I'm not a lesson. I can see a boy to do good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a boy, 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 I'm a Okay, brother, me have been on George. I'm okay, we're going to I call it um, very tired, but we still have to do what we have to do. Very, very tired. I'm okay, we're going to be she dada ni mori wa kwe ashe yori la mashe. I'm not going to put too much uh, pressure on anyone, but as usual, Monique in ki bubu wa kwe aku or set to two at the cool bush and London on Nigeria. Moki or Modi Mokaba Lagba Moki go be in your a few minute, few seconds. Keep prepare Twitter space and then uh, we will kick start, uh, you know, briefly. Please share the broadcast and invite others to do so. My name is Alami Koiki, and it's 28th of October 2024. Uh, Nigeria is one hour ahead of UK. So we are now 2100 hours. So that's 9 p.m. About seven minutes past nine. Moki, we are to be in the key. Our family did not go up at the roti. Mumbo Moti day. gbogbo eyan mo odo ta jo nka kiri odo jo ni wa e mo je ki afia ye gba fula ni lori ile awon baba wa e mo je ka bu oba mo e mo je ka bujo ye mo ngba ta la fe ja fun awon ran wa ta wa nkoko nbu oba ta nbujo ye emi na se beeri bobo pe ra mi pada e mo je ka bu agbagba kankan mo e mo boloselu kankan erukaluku nberu won o le soro oba o le so ijoye le so e je ka ronu 
Nigeria mo lo pisu tori pe olowo lemi na ti o ba so lowo lara ndi mo gbogbo nkan ta lo fun yen lo fun mi mi se talaka to de pe mo dide fun ja yoruba big man mi awon to je ore mi to sun mo to ni owo ni kini mo wa lo be pe so wo le mi mo nfe ni kin so yi ti mo fe mo ni so ro wo ani oro iran mi ni mo nso kin wo kin wo gbo kin gbera kin pe mo lo do ba gbo mo lo do ni bodo fi gbo ho kin kojo wole kokan mi bale kin da wa moto ki mo rin bo ki fulani mo da mi do ntiti kin dele ki baba so pe kin gbe tras tire la su ki mo gbe lo awon baba wo le lo komo won o le lodo e je ka fo su opo ka ti awon baba wa leyin ka da security ti wa le ka so fun won kan baba fowo ti ka le won ko nu oko wa e se mo dupe jesus oluwa wa Good afternoon, good evening. This script is titled Alleged Regional Government Bill in Circulation, if true, overtaken by events. A document alleging to be a bill submitted by Bola Tribute National Assembly seeking to reverse and to amend the 1999 Constitution and give regions independence from the central. In other words, going back to regional government arrangement. It's in circulation all over the social media. If this bill is true, and I hope it is true, my message is clear that the bill has been overtaken by events. What preponderance of Nigerians need now is not regional government, but they want an independent country of their own. Regional government belongs to the past. Currently, the agitation is for self-determination. For all regions, ethnic nationalities wishing to have their own country. Anything short of that is chasing the wild goose. And will not see, will not, will not pass the passage of time. I will not see the daylight. Indeed, what Nigerians are going through now, the way and manner we are being collectively mismanaged, we are being assaulted. We are being pauperized. We are being reduced into pitiable combustible materials. We are being reduced into beggars, into slaves. But the Bola Tinubu regime is emboldening many of us who were formerly against breaking of Nigeria into smaller nations. We are now reversing ourselves. Majority of us, including myself, who was formerly against smaller nations out of Nigeria, is now fully committed to having Nigeria broken into different countries out of choice or out of compulsion so that we can go and manage ourselves in our own way, in our own speed, in our own style, cognizance of taking into consideration our culture, our beliefs, our socialization, our meaning, if you like. We are tired of a central government where everybody has been made to become a slave. Everybody has been loose, except the few who are milking the country, high, empty, and dry, who are stealing our collective patrimony, collective resources, who are sending us fear and terror, who are deceiving us every day, every night, every hour, every week, every month, all year through. Therefore, those who are thinking that a bill to take Nigeria back to the I'll do any favor, 
they are making the biggest mistake. That is not what Nigerians need. What Nigerians need is dissolution of Nigeria into smaller nations, out of choice or out of compulsion, in peace, not in pieces. Anything short of that will not see the light of the day, will not address the current challenges, will only be postponing the evil day. Enough for the wise. We don't know who will be where we are. One is two who are far ahead of South Korea and North Korea, who are far ahead of China even. We had television before France. We had radio before South Africa. Now look at where we are today. I think it's a shame that even any young Obama can be talking about restructuring at this point in time. What are we restructuring? This, this, this country that is already shot to pieces? I don't think that's what we want. But they are always talking about giving Nigeria a chance. The process of Yoruba with Nigeria has come to an end. I'm thinking about how we've been having this conversation about the unity of Nigeria. And I reflect back at some of the prominent statements made by some of our founding leaders. And I feel that probably this will help us to have a conversation on the Nigerian unity. I just brought four, not to bore you. First, and I'm quote, and I quote, not my statement, Nigeria is not a nation. It's a mere geographical expression. There are no Nigerians in the same sense as there are English, Welsh, or French. The word, the word Nigerian is merely a distinctive appellation to distinguish those who live within the boundaries of Nigeria from those who do not. This is accredited to Chief Obafemi Awolowo, the former Prime Minister of the Western Region. The second one, and I quote, it is true that we politicians always delight in talking loosely about the unity of Nigeria. Sixty years ago, there was no country called Nigeria. What is now Nigeria consisted of several large and small communities, all of which were different in their outlooks and beliefs. The advent of the British and that of Western education has not materially altered the situation. And the, men, and the many and varied communities have not knit themselves into a composite unit. This is accredited to Sir Amado Bello, former Premier of Northern Region. They thought, and I quote, Since 1914, the British government has been trying to make Nigeria into one country. But the Nigerian people themselves are historically different in their backgrounds, in their religious beliefs and customs, and do not show themselves any sign of willingness to unite. The Nigerian unity is only a British intention for the country. There is no land called Nigeria. There is no language called Nigeria. There are no people called Nigerians. We are only deceiving ourselves. We are not Nigerian. Ah, okay. Where is Nigeria as a? Where is the land called Nigeria? Where is the? What is the Nigerian language? We are nations that had been forced together to live in one pathetic country. So anybody who goes there today to say uh, pray for Nigeria, that person is just deceiving himself because the people who want to be that Nigeria had not sat down to agree if they want to be Nigeria. They wanted to be separate from the country that the British Empire had imposed on us 
which was this country of Nigeria, where they kind of just kind of took a bunch of independent nations who don't have anything to do with each other, don't even speak each other's language, don't relate. Many of them were even enemies and warring at the time, smushed them all together and drew these arbitrary lines around them mm-hmm. and called them countries and named those countries. Right. And then said, now y'all get along and do a country for us and be a, a union for us. And then go through, you know, contentious, bloody independence processes that never really yield any real independence. You're still part of a commonwealth afterwards. True. And you have the eternal meddling in your affairs and the eternal extraction of your resources and the eternal fomenting of divisiveness and infighting mm-hmm. in order to be able to control you. This is what an oppressor does, a colonizer does. Uh, this is, these are you know, tactics and strategies of dominance. Right. We were subjected to that as a larger unit of Nigeria. And then when the Igbo people said, we want our own thing, let's, let's go and, and do that. Well, it so happened to be that the territory that this new country of Biafra was going to be in included very, very rich oil reserves. Mm. And the British were not going to let go of that. Wow. And the people that they had put in power, you know, the, their puppet Nigerian governments weren't going to do that either because they needed it for the Nigerian project. Right. And Britain needed it for its own interests and uses. So Great Britain got directly involved in this civil war and in the war for independence, and decided that they would do everything to make sure that Biafra did not go. Wow. And this everything meant directly funding genocide of the people of Biafra. If you don't allow we Biafrans to go, that zoological republic called Nigeria will be a worse place than Somalia, and today it is happening. And if you have not applied for your Somalian visa, please try and do so. Should I say Somali visa? Try and do so as quickly as possible because the zoo is on the path of destruction. And there is nothing man can do to reverse it. Mark today's date and what I'm telling you. Nigeria will be destroyed beyond human comprehension. Uh, Good morning, good evening, and welcome. We're not going to stay too long because I haven't got enough strength tonight. So I hope to end the broadcast uh, just probably before 11 o'clock. So we see how far we go. Uh, Nothing much to discuss. It's just the usual self-determination and to seek how many people still want Nigeria. You made a lucy for Nigeria. And why do you want Nigeria? How many of you want Nigeria? And why? Mokibubu Akwekale, and welcome to you on Twitter, on Facebook, on the YouTube, on Instagram. We're not live. I've been kicked out again as usual. I don't know how long I'm going to be back on Instagram. My utterances always kick me out of Instagram. Mark Zubibad doesn't want my utterances on his page. So I'm going to work with Kale. You're waiting for what next? The next is that Nigeria is going to break up. How soon is what we don't know. But the pressure keeps bubbling every day and night. So. It's just a matter of when and the whole thing will collapse. I pray it collapse quicker so that many people can be free. But I want them to be free. Go. They don't want to be free. They love their oppressors. And when small little things happen, they come on Twitter and say, ah, that, that House of Assembly you know, is abusing us. It's calling us that, you know, I will make sure that you disappear. And they want me to use that as a program. And see that they are bomb bastard. When you tell Nigerians that this country is not working, they'll say, shut up. 
But when small house of assembly is threatening them, everybody's going on Twitter, blah, 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 since morning. Oh, they can badu. Even Star Radio UK, we talked about it. So that's exactly what they want. You know, we should just complain on Twitter and then end it there. We wait for the next one. I'm sure by tomorrow now, that one will be gone. We wait for another one. And it goes like that in cycle. So you can see that, you know, it doesn't make any, any sense. But when you tell Nigerians that that is not how it's meant to be, I say, ah, shut up, shut up. What do you know? What do you know? You know? And what thing I know? I don't know anything now. What thing I know? So by tomorrow morning, we go forget that, that house of our, we go forget about that because another Wahala will come again. And what they do is they bring all kind of distraction. You know? Instead of Nigerians to be saying that let us divide the country so that everybody, so that we don't even need to be looking for visa among ourselves. We will have relationship that you can still travel to the north without a visa. You can still travel to Yoruba land without a visa. The only thing is that we will have a border that demarcate us. But people don't like the border. You talk about border. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't marry Ibu. I don't marry Awusa. I don't marry uh, Ishekiri. I don't marry Delta. You know? Instead of us to have borders so that we go know who is who. But they don't like that. So, what thing I go talk? So, you just look at the whole thing. You just sometimes say, you know, Nigerians are funny people. Funny, funny people. And they put, they put some skit. They use that one to distract us. As soon as they put Nyash and Boo Boo in front of the music, everybody forget their sorrows. <laughs> and they smoke weed. They smoke weed. They smoke shisha. Why they say she no? And the body person to bad you problem with you. I'm a bush in my wall and to my toy. Do you know how many diaspora are looking after children that we don't even know how they how they became how they produce them? Whether you motor lot of gas for me, I'm we are rebedding me. We are no runi. We don't know. Somebody now will call you say, My wife needs to go to maternity leave. Can you send money? Eh? But the same person tell and say make we break men. Just shut up, shut up. Mukia Bishop Adeshina, only shut up. Why do you want to break up? But he cannot look after the same wife where he give belly. So you can imagine the kind of you know trouble that people like us have to now start breaking it down to piece by piece. Say shut up. Person we know if you feed in family, he tell you say shut up. Why do you want to break Nigeria? Eh? Funny, funny people. That's why they are oppressed all the time. If not, one person will say, I will disappear you. Tomorrow, they will disappear the person. Do you know how many IPOP, you know, people that are asking for Biafra, that they disappear? How many Nigerian shout out? One bastard, the Yolushi. Idiot, all over the place. How many Biafrans that they disappear? Nobody know where they are today. They just disappear them. Some of them, that the Yati now, you know how long that the Yati have been disappearing? Is that, so that, that the Yati don't disappear? It's been like almost three years now. That the Yati daughter that was two years old is probably become four years old. No, Papa. Papa don't disappear. So, so the word disappear is not a new thing. So why are you all like, nye, 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 have you seen that news? Disappear. <laughs> You too, you go disappear very soon. You, you, where you they watch me? You go soon disappear. <laughs> because I can't show the video. Go on my Twitter. Spaghetti. I don't know whether I'm a spaghetti. I thought it was a say, okay, I'm a piece of me, I'm a, I'm a set. One spaghetti, they go from Kaduna, the trailer don't fall. You go think, say, people normal for that country. They don't normal. I think you're a party book boy. What for bad book boy? You know, yesterday, I was telling you that in Ijebu, my own my own state, in Ogun State, I was saying it yesterday on the broadcast that people put Amala, rice, Eba, Moi Moi, Ikokore, they put everything together. And I wonder how they are going to eat that. I didn't realize that today I go see another video 
where a trailer don't fall. Spaghetti. I don't know whether na spaghetti, whether na guburu. I just know say that they pack that thing with the sand on the floor. And the same people tell them no break Nigeria so that they can eat proper food. They say shut up. What do you know? Eh? They hear people. Funny, funny people. Very funny people. The line is open if you want to call it. Number million. Yeah. I don't have anything to say. I just turn my camera on, enjoy myself. I turn it off and I go to bed. Tomorrow is another day. And I think my wife is making food. When the food is ready, say, Daddy, Daddy, food is ready. Funny, funny people. If you want call, the number is on the screen. Last, last. Now everybody go shop breakfast. Shy you. <laughs> yeah, they laugh. Hmm? Yesterday, Bishop Badeshino said you send one million naira to the Republic, they will give you 300,000 naira safer. <laughs> funny, funny people. Uh, what do you mean I know? I just enjoy myself for London. Eh? But Mokio Bwente, I advise you. Thank you so much. Koiki, just leave them. In the she must have sit among And let's be prayerful, please. I want us to keep praying. Okay? Emma, I can't fear. Dura, I can't do my bad. Dura, dada. My bad. dada. The thing we go cast, go cast. The time we go cast is what we don't know. I pray it happened tonight and I pray it happened before 2027. Shehima now won't become president. Hey, you go see Yoruba people now, they go, they, they go they run around. Hey, Shehima Kinde, Presido, Presido. <laughs> as soon as Shehima Kinde gets there, he go, they complain about problem. I watch a video. The guy say, Concord. Concord of Inwe, Concord Bile, OTB 100 Nera. I don't know whether I should play that video, but I don't want any any strike on my channel. I'll probably just leave it. If you want to watch anything, go on my, on my Twitter. I'm going to watch it on my Twitter. Funny country. Funny country. Eh? You go say, me will fight. They go say, no, we don't want to fight. Too. How you go fight? But somebody go intimidate them. They go come on social media. La la, low, low. Everybody go shout, 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 shout. Tomorrow they go forget her. And one person go use that opportunity to make money. Hey, I have interviewed the, the, the driver. This is the driver. The driver that was slapped. You know how many people that they slap every day? <laughs> go, go, show the people that they slap every day, every day, slap people every day for your labor. For Yaba, they just slap everybody for for Ikiti State, slap everybody. But those ones, they don't get phone to record. So imagine if everybody's bringing their video on the Twitter. Eh? That country go at Lano. But only the little one will get mobile phone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, smile to the camera. I'm recording you now. I'm gonna post this on Twitter. I'm gonna post this on Twitter. Yeah, I post it on Twitter. Let's see. Do you know that Kokoro Igbowo? When we found his body, who see your ring there? What is your ring? Hello. Ah, mobile or phone paper soup? Or a blue coat on there? I want to know. No, I'm a Yoruba. No, what disappeared? By the time we saw the body, eh? Ori of Sinibe, it was buried without the head. I think that was last year, if not the year before. I want to open up. I want to open up. I want to open up. I want to disappear. Do you know how many people got disappeared during NSAS? Oyibo, I think I pronounced very well. Oyibo, Nibi Obibi, Oni, in the Southeast. But people don't talk about that because it's, it's, it's the Southeast. We don't care if they kill themselves. Kill them. Kill themselves for Southeast. Now, Simon Epa, they kill every one of them. And the Simon Epa is a good guy. 
So it's the good guy. Because as far as I say, if Yoruba people don't like Simon Epa, they are like Simon Epa because he's a good guy. Because every time me arrive Simon Epa, he did reply me. There's a problem now that we put in front of Simon Epa. I'm not going to go into all the details because it's still going through security and all that. But this is, I can tell you, uh, I won't go into all the full information, but I was communicating with Simon Epa at about 6.21. I said, good evening, Prime Minister. That's the way I address it. Because the Prime Minister, eh, make another address than Prime Minister. Now, Prime Minister now, when Awolowo was fighting for Nigeria, he was also under age 30. So Simon Epa is Prime Minister. But they're not like that one. You remember, you, hey, 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 go, you shut up. Leave the upright loan. <laughs> so anytime I write Simon Epa, I have to put PM because he's a prime minister. Prime minister. You know, like that one. I am just having a conference call with the family of the mm, and the latest I am getting is that mm, I'm just taking some of the words because I don't want to give you all the intel. She is currently, mm, she confessed to, mm, and I have asked the family to get, mm, when this mm, come back to me, I will give you, mm. the last time we had was, mm, they paid, mm, thank you. That message lasted up to 6.24 p.m. And the Prime Minister eh, knows that when we have cordial relationship, he must reply back. Right on the spot, at one minute past my own message, Simon Ekwa wrote me back. Great. Once you have every information, let me have them so that we can work with it. You don't need to know what they are working with. That's all you need to know. Bushilat Yurini, eh? So when we have the same country, that is the way we go away, eh? Do you know that America and Israel, that they share, before Israel attack Iran, they go call America. Hello, hello, connect me to Joe Biden. Who is this? This is uh, Netanyahu. What happened? We are going to attack Iran in the next two hours. We are just telling you in advance, relationship, country to country. But Nigeria don't want that. They just want us to fight on Twitter. Hey, hey, uguru, uguru. Instead of us to have country, and then we can have cordial relationship among ourselves. They don't want that one. Hello, Kwe. Mo, hello, the program, Mo. Mo, hello, the live, bye. Eh, la gua, la all right, all right, all right. So, eh? Uh -huh. Somebody said it is true. The local Hong Kong is hundred naira. Hello, lot of The same Nigerians that are mourning and bombasting Simon Epa, the PM, talking rubbish about Simon Epa, they will now come and talk about somebody say we go disappear. Do you know that in Amdekano they kidnap him, they rendition him, is in the custody of the DSS. He has disappeared for over four years, and Nigerians don't care. <laughs> because now in Amdekano, they won't break Nigeria. Because now in Amdekano, they want no message about it. They care less. But they are worried about one driver that in Amdekano and Koiki Media want to save the life. Because they know that that country will not work. And they try to speak broken English. Even though say my broken English, no be like the people waiting for that side. The same people that we are fighting for, that look injustice, they Nigeria, they say, shut up. We like it like that. But when it's small problem, they come on social media. Everybody go tweet. They go comment. You go see comment. Go to that page. You go come the ask, say, say these people, they're normal. They're not normal now. Because the one way we should fight for, everybody's running away. Nobody wants to talk about that. So, I'm happy original select and what fake.
at all. So sometimes you just laugh about the whole thing and, and realize that Nigerians are, are some kind of, I don't even know what to put their names on. What kidnap who inam the can? Eh? No reaction, no nothing, nothing. But yet, one small house of assembly says somebody will disappear. But Inam the can has been disappeared for four years now because he's not with his family. So, well, when everybody read breakfast, they breakfast, breakfast. Everybody go come out. So for me, I think it was two for 50 Naira before. Okay. Now it's 100 Naira. By December, CBN will remove completely 5, 10, and 50 Naira node because it can no longer purchase any commodity. Very good. So, I don't know, Jari, in that one in Nigeria. Some people. They are just funny, funny people. Let's make this country smaller so that we can know who is who. We can treat ourselves properly. We can have dignity. We can have respect. We can, we can share knowledge. You can go to Biafra and study at the university and return back to Odudua Republic. You can go to Arewa and study Awusa. If you want to study Awusa, they don't want that. Suffering and smiling, yeah, yeah, people. They can shut up, shut up. You are, you are, you are my ego. You sit in London. You are my ego. You, 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 you won't destroy Nigeria. You, 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 you complain about Nigeria all the time. You and Simon Epa, eh? You, Simon Epa, where they kill his people. As if Nigeria has not killed enough people that Simon Epa is trying to save. May God give us all the strength. That's all I can say. May God give us all the strength to keep going. All of us want strength. So I'm not going to do a long program. I'm just going to just laugh and then end the program. And we'll be back again tomorrow as usual. Because I'm tired. So, I can see. I'll do that back. So to about the 15 minutes, we end the program and we'll be back again tomorrow. Inshallah, I share the mind. Mokia So we're not here to be doing anything more than what we have said before. Nigeria is working. Nigeria is working. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Nigeria is working on that T-Pain. What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, uh, you can talk back call me. You can talk my lord. I do. You can talk. Tell me that story to him. So that's my lord. Ah, my back here. You just say to me that my phone will enjoy to be your lord. Eh, go back. Okay. Mo wa lori, mo wa lori to buy. Eh, mo wa lori program. Eh, so my pain, my pain. I say to him. All right, man. I do. You go join it here. Inshallah. I love prayers. So, anything me? I do a wagba. I can't get a kirawa non. I should program. I call kirawa. I will come back again tomorrow. Awareness can never finish because you are not ready. Ti bo waba ti ready, eh? You are not going to be doing awareness anymore. But for now, we're going to be doing awareness. But when we are fully ready, the whole awareness we go put them on one side and we go on the next stage. So Moki Prof, Moki 
Iyajagu. A lot of people say, she chief mam, she wa peluwa, chief mam. Muni yes, is still with us. But you know that everybody goes into uh, uh, a mode, not a flight mode, but planning and all that. So Chief Imam is still with us. I will greet all our fathers that are fully involved in the Yoruba Nation campaign and the quest. So is it a quest? Is it right? And there's no need for us to be scared of anything. It will happen. So people just want, uh, some people just want to come and use us as platform to, you know, to watch. But they're not going to ask for Nigeria to break. But they like, you know, the way we speak, the way we do analysis, the way we do this, the way we do that. But they're not interested to break up Nigeria. Eshigoni, this is man one, two, three. Mokia okay, Aziz. Muki okay, our grace. Olushota, I really do do I you. Yugi Giant, I cite you. Akide, all our Biafra brothers, I love you. Stop disrespecting Yoruba people that are in full mode self-determination. If you do, what you are doing automatically, you are disrespecting uh, your PM. Because most of you Biafrans don't even have direct access to your prime minister like I do. If I send Simon Ekpa a message now, you know, he will reply me back. That is the kind of relationship we have with him. But yes, we have the Afonjas, the Yoruba that doesn't believe in Biafra, that doesn't believe in Yoruba nation. You can attack those ones. The ones that they follow Tinubu, like Boye or Nonuga, that old bagger. You know, like Reno and Hen, like all those ones. But don't attack the world. Don't attack, you know, Yoruba people that are serious. And stop telling us, oh, Yoruba people are not serious. You too, you have not got the country yet. So we are still together in Nigeria. So stop using the word you have, you have nobody else, not, none of us have got a country, but we are working towards liberating our people. So that's all I can say. So Moki Bubuala and Kansi, or Tunlate Mitoko, shout out to you. Uh, I'm going to go now in 10 minutes so that I can just go and relax. I uh, have more energy and strength. Uh, Moki Shakiro Aziz, Neos Oris, thank you so much. Adepo G. Benjamin, shout out to you. Moki in France, Moki in Belgium. Mukini Australia, New Zealand, Mukini Canada, America, Mukini Togo, Mukini Benin Republic, Mukini Ghana, Mukini Ontoa, Lori Twitter, uh, Prince Adebayo Shiro, shout out to you, Mukini Amiadini Kenoseru Ojo, Assalamu alaikum to all our Muslim brothers and sisters and our Christians, I say greetings to all our non believers and our traditionalists, I say shout out to you, Aboru Aboye, Taiwo Kikepa Sami, shout out to you. Uh, Mr. Asini Mumini Abiola Mukente Wani Oke Ogun Muki Bubu Akwe Aku Bubu Ebo uh, You know, the end will come. Let us be prayerful. Bubu Ntuma Adani Mwaruka Abiola Mkote De Shele Idris Abimbola Muki Thank you so much Ogun Shegun Adibayo Muki Dr. Zabi The Chairwoman of the Yoruba World Media Muki Bubu Amon Elegbemi Muki Pavilion Muki Every single one of you, Abiodu George, shout out to you, my brother. Adewale Abdulwasil, Mofiu, Mofi, Enyola, Ali, Ola, Mukini, Muki, Omode, Muki, Abalagba, Muki, Mr. You know, Muki, Alaji, Muki, Alaja. We are going to get there. How soon is what everybody wants to know? What is the next strategy? I want you to shut up. Stop talking too much. Just do whatever needs to be done at the appropriate time and everybody will get sense because many Nigerians, they don't get sense. They've removed their sense and we need to teach them the sense. So shout out to those of you on our backup YouTube channel. Muki Aluka, Abiodun Gafau, Muki Taufik Kodri. This man, thank you so much for being there. Muki, all our lawyers and the late people that have died. Yawa Janet Fasha King, we will continue to remember you. All those that have died. Yeye Lufe and many people that have died in Nigeria for the death that shouldn't have happened. We will remember you. Johnny Danny, thank you so much. Uh, Moses Olaniro, shout out to you. Yes, yeah, Samuel uh, Muki, Muki into London, Muki into Manchester, uh, Muki Olorieko, Yadada, Ebamiki, uh, Daddy, Daddy Ani. I love when Koiki say bombastard. <laughs> Instagram on Facebook. 
Anytime I use bomb bastard, Instagram is like he's having a day. Moki Allahu Baba. Moki justice for the masses. Good evening. Moki Okumola Biodu. We have to eat Amala Neguke anytime I return back to Nigeria. And by that time, Nigeria will be going into the final stage by God's grace. Igbo is not coming to Nigeria for any meeting. So don't call me. Don't get panic. Don't get worried. So, you know, that cannot happen. I have about just 10 minutes and then I'm going to check out and then I will be back again, God willing, tomorrow. So, Orile de Yoruba, la pe, la she du mari. But, e de katubo she adura to po. In any Monday, uh, 28th, 2024. Uh, and like I always say, uh, we are all in this together. We're all going to play different role. I'm just playing mine. You play yours. And I'm sure we will get there. Muki kabi e siwa o ni o fife. Muki bubu a mwa baladi ladi. We olon o ni du mari. A ti is tonno. Tama ti de kuro ni nou Nigeria. A wong kon ni o bele she do di yi. E ni ni mi oba bobe. We a mwa kwe daju daju. In ti e gbe da ni. Stu te wa lori e. Te fi ta pinkwe ni a ro le o du du wa. E o yi shen kon ke kere. O lwa ba wa ton yi sona. A wa ki buba wong diaspora. Ti won take responsibility government. The diaspora are taking the responsibility of the government. Looking after our people. Sending this home. Sending that home. Buba yi te shi yi she business ni 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 jire. A o gani yi. The dollar is going about 1,600. The pounds is about 2,000. Plus, if you're running a business in Nigeria right now, or more, I salute you. We know that Nigeria has all kind of money inside. Uh, there is drug money. There is also, uh, you know, all kind of spiritual money in Nigeria. So at the end of the day, uh, all I can say is that let us not believe that every money circulating in Nigeria is a genuine money. So you can see somebody buy. One billion era house. Um, so at the end of the day, um, you know, things are not what you are saying. I might be no, 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 So, Moki will go along and see. So, Moki will go and see. 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 Belfast. Moki will go and see. Dublin. Moki will go and see. Germany. Moki will go along and see. I'm going to go and see. Moki will go and see. Moki will go and see. All our people on Twitter. Thank you so much. And that's how far I can go this evening. Tomorrow is another day. And we'll be back as usual. For now. I'm shouting out. I will be back tomorrow, God's willing. Do not allow anybody to tell you otherwise. The end of Nigeria is getting there gradually. It will fall apart. And everybody will be free for life. Because this is going to be the end of Nigeria. Self-determination. Remember, Remember, it is only one life. Make that life worth it for Yoruban people to be free. This man on the right hand side remain an obstacle to the progress of Yoruba people. I'm talking about Bolatinobo. It's a big obstacle. It's one of the biggest obstacles that we have that is putting Yoruba people in the dilemma that we are currently facing. Some say it's because for his own selfish gain. Some say all sorts. But I know that he also have only one life. I'm hearing that they want to bring Sheyitinobu to become the next governor of Lagos State so that he can take the Jagaban from his father. 
I can assure us that that was not going to happen. It doesn't matter how powerful they are. Most of these individuals, they've all compromised the lives of millions of Yoruba people, not because of their selfish interests, it's because some of them have been coerced, some of them have been intimidated, and some of them are corrupt. Not all of them, but majority of them. But the end is gradually kicking in. And Nigeria, no matter how much you care about it, would dissolve with the amalgamate. Shout out to Yowo. Shout out to the team that took that massive brown envelope that many people wants to know what the content is. We are grateful to have Oluye Gowo at this very particular time in the history of Yoruba people. We are not going to lose focus. There are so many attacks on him every week. Another one, Tija Delini. But it doesn't matter how much your attack on Dr. Chief Sunday Gowo. He has done what millions of you refuse to do, especially the learned ones. The ones that we thought were going to help us to pull away from Nigeria. Rather, they left it with this man that has a beautiful Yoruba tribal mark that remains his official passport. Anyway, Gowo goes, that tribal mark indicates that he's from Yoruba in Igbo town. And that is the reason why it's different. That is the reason why Igbo wants to be attacked on a daily basis. We must not allow anyone to distract us. So, let us continue to pray for him and his family. Let us remind ourselves that Igbo's account is still being closed and he doesn't have access to his account. I have three minutes. Let us remember that Igbo is not doing this because he wants to be famous. He's not doing this because he wants to be rich. He's not doing this because he wants to gain something out of it. Igbo is doing this because Yoruba people needs to be free. And that's exactly why Igbo is doing this. So we're grateful that Igbo has given us a full support and that means that he has sacrificed a lot for that reason and even if we don't like him remember that his uncle was killed by Buari and Yemi Osibajo on the 1st of July 2021 remember that his close friend a business partner was also killed, Alaji Adogon, and their bodies still remain with the federal government till date. Let us remind ourselves that both Adogon and Alaji Fatai are many Yorubas that have had to lose their life because of the system that will never work. Let us pray for Igbo all the time. Let's pray that whatever and whenever he is ready, God will guide him so that we can fulfill this mission together. We love him and we will continue to give him all the support that he needs. And on that note, I say, 
Good night.